Before we begin, we'd like to thank Casper, a sleep brand that continues to revolutionize its line of products to create an exceptionally comfortable sleep experience, one night at a time. Get $50 off select mattresses by visiting casper.com therapy and using promo code therapy at checkout. But first, our 50th episode of The Bright Sessions. And for this one, you want to listen all the way to the very end. It starts like any other night, like any other dream. It pulls me in, and then, like nothing else in life, like no one's ever seen, I go deeper. And suddenly a flash of white light bursts around the edges of my eyes. The feeling grows and then I know I'm inside. I'm inside someone else's mind. Through the looking glass I go into a world someone's head when they're lying in their bed I come in soft they don't know that I am there I simply sit and stare and learn their hearts but if I see that someone's lost I try to help no matter what the cost I change their I guess we're doing musicals tonight. It wouldn't be the first time. Agent Green, what are you doing here? You tell me. Oh, this is my dream. I would have thought that would have been fairly obvious. Yeah, well, waking up into a dream and immediately bursting into song would disorient anyone. You're snarkier in my dreams than you are in real life. You're just realizing this? See? Snarkier. 
I think you want me, the real me, to stand up for himself more. Myself. Hmm. Don't worry about it. Things rarely make sense in here. And can you blame me? I've been inside Agent Green's head. He's not a bad guy, just... Spineless? You said it first. Actually, you did. I'm you, remember? Pff, whatever. So, are we going walking tonight? Where are we again? Sam's house. Oh, right. That explains the song and dance. We were watching old musicals. I must have fallen asleep. I wonder if anyone else is... Yeah, I can feel the edges of Sam and Caleb at least, and I think Mark is beginning to doze too. So we are going wandering. Might as well, right? I definitely want to get to know these people. You don't trust them? I don't know them. I mean, they seem all right, but so did Damien when I first met him, and apparently I was way off on that. It's just... This is a lot more complicated than I expected it to be. You know, I know the AM could be kind of ineffective, but I didn't think they could be evil. Atypicals have never scared me before, so I just want to make sure I know what I'm getting myself into with these people. Very well. You're coming? You like having me around when it comes to other atypicals. You're family excluded, of course. I think it makes you feel comfortable to have an atypical authority around to bounce your thoughts off of. Don't psychoanalyze me. That's all you do in here. Yeah, well, I don't like when it's turned on myself. It's you doing it. Yeah, well, it's just weird hearing it said out loud. Okay, you ready? Through the looking glass we go. Oh, hush up. Okay, I don't know what you think you're seeing, but that is totally crooked. No, it's not. Okay, it is. It's artistic? Okay, okay. You stand back this time and I will hang it. Are we sure about this color? Oh, no. Don't tell me you're changing your mind about the paint again. I don't know. I'm beginning to think that the salmon might have been the better call. Oh, my God. You're going to want to change the walls every three months, aren't you? Hey, this is what you signed up for when you agreed to move in with me. I don't think that's totally fair. You failed to inform me that you had such strong interior design opinions. I wasn't expecting someone so high maintenance. Oh, man. I really had you fooled on that one, didn't I? Made you think I was this totally chill guy who wouldn't spend four hours staring at paint swatches. How could I have been so naive? Guess I'm just stuck with you now. Ooh, I think Mark just fell asleep. I mean, I could leave if you want. He seems pretty awake to me. No, no, that's all right. I'll muddle through somehow. No, the real Mark. Is this not... It's a hardship, I know. This is Sam's dream, I'm pretty sure. But someone has to do it, and I'm willing to make the sacrifice for humanity. See how she's just a little bit more put together than normal? Perfect hair, no bags on her eyes. That's very magnanimous of you. Yes. I'm really quite extraordinary. Everyone has dream versions of themselves. That you are. Is that why you're two inches taller? This is why no one likes you. <laughs> it's nice, though. Mark looks exactly the same. No, and that means... She doesn't want him to be anyone else. That's love, I guess. Sam, it's going up. I'm sorry. You're 19. You know everything about the world? This world, at least. Come on, let's go pop into Mark's head. Wow. Where are we? I don't know. Could be a real place. Could be something made up in Mark's brain. Could be a little bit of both. God. Look at all that green. Wonderful. Come on, Joni. Just one picture. I thought we were past this particularly annoying stage of your life. I'm a professional photographer. This stage is the whole thing. I meant the stage where you make me the subject. Just get in here, Joan, and maybe we can finally eat. Hey, hey, hey. you're going to be thanking me for this 50 years from now, because we're all going to be sitting out on the porch, looking at photo albums, and you're going to say, gosh, that was such a nice day we had. I'm sure glad Mark insisted on taking pictures so that we could remember that day and what we used to look like, and how windy it was. People even have photo albums anymore. Just shut up and smile, you. Are we done? Can't rush the artistic process, Joni. <laughs> it's a good thing he's cute, isn't it? You really could do so much better, Sam. Hey, I heard that. I know. I think I'm a catch. You are. See? Sam agrees. That's all that matters. Okay, this is sweet, but we still have at least one more person to check on. I nearly got run over. No, you didn't. They would have run right through you. Excuse me for reacting to a herd of football players barreling towards me. <sighs> God, I think we'll leave Caleb for a bit. Not a football fan? Not if I'm in the game, no. All right, well, that's everyone, right? Should we just wake up now? No, let's hang around. You know how fast dreams can change. Maybe we'll find something interesting. Or maybe someone else will fall asleep. You mean Dr. Bright, don't you? I'm just curious about her. 
anyone in my position would be. Sure, sure. I wouldn't count on it, though. Dr. Bright knows what you're capable of. I don't think she'd put herself in that position. Everyone here knows what I can do. True. But do you really think Dr. Bright would let her guard down? I guess not. Still, we could... I thought you said you weren't going into waking brains anymore. It's not like you learn much anyway. Subconsciouses are messy. I know, but I bet Dr. Bright's isn't... Rose, you're not... Mark is barely keeping his Wadsworth is up to something much right now. Sleeping. She'll never stop. She'll never I don't stop. know what to do. I have no access to the AM. AM. I'm barely keeping my doors open myself. I have to find more patients. Separate I'm from not the sure AM. AM is approaching this the right way. Better, or even better. You could be doing it. Help me find more patients. Be better. Keep asking me. Jeez, what on earth? Guess you were wrong about her subconscious not being messy. Yeah, no kidding. God, I never would have imagined she was dealing with so much anxiety all the time. After all this time, how are you still surprised by what goes on in people's heads? You know it's usually pretty different than what they present on the surface. Yeah, I know, but still, that was rough. Are you ready to leave now? No, come on, one more round. Rose, I really think that- Is this Sam's dream again? I think so. Is it just me or did it get a lot darker here? Mark? Joan? Is anyone here? What happened? I don't understand. The dream changed. Mark? Don't give me that look. It's not like I want anyone to have a nightmare or anything. Is that what this is? It's beginning to feel like it. Mark, where are you? Well then do something! Isn't that the point? Make new thoughts? Bring Mark back! I can't! I don't know Mark well enough to make a dream version of him for Sam, and I don't really know Sam well enough to know what she'd find comforting. This may not have been a very well thought out plan after all. You think? Mark? Why aren't you answering? No, keep looking, Sam. I'm sure you'll find him. She can't hear you. I know, but I don't know why she stopped and why everything's gone all gray. Please, talk to me. Can you bring the color back? What, like Wizard of Oz? No, I don't think I can. Mark? Do something! I don't know what to do. I don't know why she's giving up. Well, the silence is freaking me out. Let's go somewhere else. No, not yet. Maybe... There. Maybe that will... Whoa. Did Sam just... No, I don't think so. Not not for real. We were still at the house. Just... The dream changed. Is this the same place as Mark's dream? I never dreamed, I never hoped. There never was the time. I never dared, I never tried. To yearn for something that never could be mine. It never will be mine. It's about survival, Sam. Never let down your guard. It's about persistence, Sam. Keep your eye on the horizon. Don't be foolish. That's what I'd say. Don't go fooling yourself. You can't be like everyone else. The impossible happens every day. No matter what you do, it won't go away. Don't ask for more. Then what are you waiting for? I never thought, I never dreamed I'd meet someone like you. I never dared you'd look my way. And I'd be a fool. But you persisted, Mark And I tried to keep you safe from harm And you survived it, Mark To fall straight into my arms Don't be foolish, this feeling won't last Don't go fooling yourself He's just like everyone else He'll soon be in your past The impossible happens every day No matter what you do it won't go away Don't ask for more Then what is he waiting for? Why does he stay? How has he not run away with what he knows? How can this be?
Do that? What? Make her sing? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe my dream is bleeding into hers a bit, or maybe I carried it with me, the music. We could have so much fun with this. See? Now you're getting the idea. Though it doesn't look like Sam's having any fun. No, I don't think she is. This is the same place that Mark was dreaming about, isn't it? It must be a real place, somewhere important to them. Whatever it is, it's beautiful. Just look at all those stars. Do we think it's a good memory or a bad one? Mark seemed happy here, but Sam... I'm not sure. I think Sam was hoping to find Mark here, maybe? I mean, can you feel that? The longing? Yes. But he's right here. I mean, in the real world, he's right next to her. I know, I don't get it. Sam and Mark seem so solid. Surface versus what lies beneath, Rose. They do not always match up. I know, but God, if Sam and Mark can't make it work, two atypicals who actually share an ability, how do I have any hope? Maybe it's harder with two atypicals. Mom and Dad make it work. Then maybe it's just hard because of who they are. Sam clearly has some serious abandonment issues. Don't be rude about it. She was technically orphaned. Oh, right. But hey, Caleb and Adam seem to make it work. One atypical, one non-atypical, they seem happy. True. Jeez, warn a guy first! Sorry, I didn't really mean to. I just was thinking about Caleb and sort of slipped. Looks like they won. Hey, Michaels. Good game. Adam, you came. Of course I came. You know I love a good sports game. <laughs> it's all right. You can admit it. You just like seeing me in my uniform. Yo, good game, Michaels. Clearly, I'm not the only one. It doesn't bother you, does it? Ah, I think it's nice that you have all these adoring fans. <laughs> Dork. Meathead. Soon this will be you. You're going to be so popular at Yale, king of the dorks. Yeah, well, you'll be off using your superpower on a whole different group of people, changing the world and all that. Whatever. Come on, let's get out of here. You don't want to celebrate with the team? No. Who needs anyone else when I got you? <laughs> what? Why are you smiling? It's just, you keep surprising me, is all. <laughs> nope, I'm pretty sure that's your job. I can never keep up. You're a puzzle, a painting, a Shakespeare play I understand you half the time Whatever's going on inside your head I know your heart and that thing's mine You're the only one who's two steps ahead you always keep me on my toes well, That's because you're short <laughs> You're always there with me at my highest highs And you don't run away when I hit my lows We'll be together hand in hand Just you and me against the world Just you and me Standing together, no matter what the future holds. See? Some people are having fun. Yeah. For now. Things are better when there's no one else. Things are clear when we're alone. 
We could run away and leave this all behind You got my heart, you got my soul I'm running away, let's do it You keep me sane Let's get away from all this din Fancy word Shut up <laughs> With you by my side to keep me green, I can't do anything but win. We'll be together, hand in hand, just you and me against the world. Just you and me standing together, no matter what the future holds. No, wait, wait, stop. I can't go there yet. What are you talking about? The future. I, I, I can't... I can't promise that. I don't know how to give you the future you need. You need puzzles, paintings, Shakespeare plays. I can't be all of that for you. It's just you and me, and no one else. You don't see all that I can't do. You're two steps ahead and always out of sync. A different wavelength from the world. You're special, and I'm me. Never understand what it's like to be you. I'm just me, something different altogether. You live in a different world, just you and me, each a separate entity. No matter how tightly we hold. No matter how tightly we hold. Is it just me or did that not seem like Dream Adam towards the end there? Yeah, it felt different. But I'm not even sure if Adam is asleep. And is it possible for two people to share a dream? You're currently bouncing from head to head watching people's sleeping brains burst into song. Anything's possible. God, are any of these people happy? You're the one who wanted to learn their deep, dark secrets. I didn't say that. I said I wanted to get to know them. Well, what were you expecting, Rose? All humans have their issues. I guess, just despite all the drama, they seemed to have it together as a group. Like, they knew what they were doing. Does anyone ever really know what they're doing? Yes, thank you for the platitude. Super helpful. I'm serious. You don't know what you're doing. Sure I do. You're currently poking around in the most vulnerable spots of people's brains. People who don't know you all that well and definitely didn't invite you here. What's your point? I know that. I know what I'm doing. And clearly you're not at all conflicted about it. Based on the morally gray figure in your life acting as your dream guide and making you confront uncomfortable truths about yourself. Sarcasm is a very bad look on you. Rose, we're not even helping. The dreams keep changing to something worse. But maybe it will help. Maybe they need to confront some uncomfortable truths about themselves. Sam is apparently hiding a lot of her feelings from Mark. How do you know that? You're not inside their relationship. And Caleb and Adam clearly need to talk about how scared they are to graduate and be on their own. Maybe singing it all out in their dreams will make them talk about it in real life. Heavy on the maybe. How many people do you know that actually take their dreams that seriously? Okay, normal people, maybe not. But these aren't normal people. And they know what I can do. Maybe they'll put two and two together. And their first reaction won't be to accuse you of putting your head where it doesn't belong? I'm done having this conversation with you. You can't hide from me in Mark's dream, Rose. I go where you go. No, you don't. This is my world. I get to choose who I share it with. This is not just your world. You are in other people's head. There. That's better. Would you just hurry up? Would you just be a little patient? I want to make sure the framing is perfect. Put it on self-timer so you can get in here too. In a minute. I want to get a few shots without my face sullying the picture. False modesty isn't a look you can pull off, Mark. Shut up and smile, Joni. That's great. 
Okay, just a few more. Just get in here already. Okay, okay. What? What happened? What did you do? I didn't do anything. It just cracked. You broke it. No, I didn't. You I... always break everything. No, it wasn't You broke my... it, Mark. You're broken, Mark. Stop. What are you talking about? I have too many broken things already. I don't need one more. No, 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 Sam, wait! <sighs> she always leaves. Why does she always leave me here? Because you're barely a person, Mark. You're just an echo of a memory. No. No, I'm not. I'm a full person. You don't even have your own power. You're only what other people make you. No. I'm my own person. I'm solid, and I'm not here anymore. I'm not in England. I'm not stuck. It was better when you were stuck. You came back broken. Stop, Joni. Just stop. You're such a disappointment. I gave up everything for you. And look at what I have now. You have me. I'm back, and I'm me. I might not be the me that you remember, but I'm still your little brother. It's not good enough. It has to be. If you just stop trying to fix everything, we'd be okay. Not everything can be problem solved. You're wrong. You could at least try. I do! I tried! I tried so hard to be better for you. And you try, you always try, but there's nothing you can do. And it's okay, I'll find my way, but I need you, I need you to let me be. You've always been there to put me on my feet, time and time again. But I fell down and I broke my crown. I was alone where you could not follow. Now I'm shattered in pieces with missing bits, a shell of who I was. A jigsaw puzzle where nothing fits. And my sister, my girlfriend, and all of our friends could never put me together again. I look in the mirror and don't recognize me. I shy away from what I've become. When I look through your eyes, I see all I could be. But I fear that that me is long gone. Now I'm shattered in pieces with missing bits, farce of who I was. A jigsaw puzzle where nothing fits. And my sister, my girlfriend, and all of our friends could never put me together again. I was stuck in the dark for so long I thought that I would never see the day When I finally came into the light All that I knew had gone away Now I'm shattered in pieces with missing bits The shade of what I was a jigsaw puzzle where nothing fits And you, Joni, no matter what you do, Joni I'll make it through, Joni But you'll never put me together again Joni, please. Just... Rose? Oh, God, that was... Regretting poking into people's heads? Shut up! It starts... 
Like any other night Like any other dream It pulls you in You go Where no one ever goes And you think you know What lies within I just wanted to know that I could trust them. All you've done is prove they can't trust you. No, that wasn't my aim. You think all that matters is your goal. But music bears the soul and their minds are not a game. And I marvel at how far you've gone down this path. Now you have to deal with the aftermath. Maybe they won't know. You should go. This episode of The Bright Sessions is brought to you by Casper. Casper's mattresses are designed by humans for humans. Considering we spend one third of our lives on a mattress, it's so important to truly sleep on a mattress before committing. That's why Casper gives you 100 nights to try it out. And Casper isn't just a mattress company. They offer a wide array of products to ensure an overall better sleep experience, which is especially important if you spend a lot of your time dream walking. Every atypical knows that better sleep leads to better dreams. Get $50 towards select mattresses by visiting casper.com therapy and using promo code therapy at checkout. Terms and conditions apply. Once again, that's $50 towards select mattress purchases by visiting casper.com slash therapy and using promo code therapy at checkout. Episode 50 was written and directed by Lauren Shippen and recorded and produced by Evan Cunningham and Misha Stanton. Music and lyrics by Evan Cunningham and Lauren Shippen with scoring and orchestrations by Evan Cunningham. The episode was sound designed by Misha Stanton. In this episode, you heard the voices of Alana Fox as Rose, Ian McEwen as Agent Green, Lauren Shippen as Sam, Andrew Nowak as Mark, Julia Morizawa as Dr. Bright, Brigham Snow as Caleb, and Alex Galner as Adam. We'd love to thank all of our musicians, Megan Chung-Smith and Yu Ting Wu on violin, Dmitry Yevstefeyev on viola, Makala Schmitz on cello, Alex Straley on guitar, and Evan Cunningham on everything else. We'd also like to thank John Sams for documenting the process of making this episode, and Alyssa Adler, Paul Richards, David Charles Abel, Sean Alderking, Elizabeth and Matthew Harrington, Betsy Laird, Ellen Winter, and Chris Littler for all their various advice and encouragements. And a special thanks to Ben Acker for a conversation we had a few years ago that eventually led me to writing this episode. If you'd like to download the songs from this episode, they're available wherever you get your music. If you'd like a free download of all the music, as well as original demos, behind-the-scenes footage, and more, you can become a patron of ours at patreon.com slash thebrightsessions. The Bright Sessions will return on April 4th with episode 51. Sorry. Where's Joan? What? Where's my sister? Oh, um, I think she's in the kitchen with, with Adam, maybe. So she wasn't? No, 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 that wasn't really her. It, it wasn't Sam either. <sighs> right. Okay. Why me? What? Why'd you go into my dream? Oh, um, I, I was, I was just, You did uh, it with everyone, didn't you? You, you should go. I'm sorry. <laughs>